With Windows 8, we had the opportunity to reimagine how services should connect to a modern device. So we built a new set of Metro-style apps for the things that people do most on their devices, like photos, mail, calendar, people, and messaging. You can see these here on the new start screen. Through the power of Live, once you sign into your Windows 8 device, these apps are instantly connected to the services and networks you use, and your Live tiles are filled with recent updates. Now let's jump right into the Photos app. As you can see, I can view photos that are stored locally, fetch photos from one of my other PCs, or, through Live, browse photos on other services I use like SkyDrive, Facebook, and Flickr. So let's say that I want to show off some photos that I left on my PC at home. I can very easily dive into my home PC and fetch all of the photos that I have stored there. So I can just tap into this album and just browse through these photos here. But for now, I have some photos stored on this PC that I want to send off to a friend. So I'll just go into my pictures library and go into this album here. And now I'll just select a few photos that I want to send off in an email. And as I'm selecting them, you can see the photos just sort of collecting on the bottom of the screen here. So now I'll open up the share charm and choose that I want to share with mail. And these photos will then be instantly emailed to my friend via SkyDrive. Now as long as I'm doing email, let's take a look at the mail app. The mail app lets you manage your email on whichever email service you choose. I have my Hotmail and Exchange accounts connected here, but you can also connect accounts from whatever service you like, such as Gmail or your ISP mail. Now let's say I'm emailing with Kim trying to figure out a good day to go grab some lunch. I'll just flip over to my calendar and check out when I'm available. The calendar app in Windows 8 gives you a comprehensive view of all your calendars, whether they are personal or work-related, and is synchronized across all of your devices through Live. So it looks like I'm available for lunch tomorrow, so I'll just flip back to the Mail app and confirm the time with Kim. Next, let's move to the People app. The People app is more than just a regular address book. People is a cloud-powered address book that instantly gives me access to everyone from work, my personal life, or my social networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. So if I dive into Nate's profile, I can see all of his information, send him an email, start a chat with him, or even see his activity on social networks like Facebook. I think that Nate just got into town, so I want to send him a message to see if he wants to come to lunch with us. This launches the messaging app. Here I can send Nate a message and he will get it wherever he's active. If he's active on Messenger, he'll get it there. If he's active on Facebook, he'll get it there. And, as a fallback, it'll just go straight to SMS. You just saw how our new Metro-style apps for Windows 8 make it easy to do the most common things on your device, including photos, mail, calendar, people, and messaging. That was just a quick look at some of the things that you can do with our connected apps in Windows 8. For more information, take a look at the Building Windows 8 blog.